Before our Cash for Kindness surprise, I get to sit down with a woman named Janet Munoz. The medical assistant, who's from the south side, describes in emotional detail how her husband of 29 years nearly died. He was off the side of the road in the median on the access road of McCullum. Car broke down. He was waiting for a troll truck to get there. That's when she says a driver swerved right into him. Tossing his body like a rag doll across I-35 and into oncoming traffic. He had eight to ten fractured ribs. He had to wear back brace for almost three months. He had a broken femur, a broken tibia, had to place rods in there, had to have skin grafts. Jana remembers the phone call she received from a stranger telling her that her husband is in serious condition. A tourniquet has been applied to stop the bleeding. There's not even words that I could say that would, you know, how grateful we are that she did that to help him. You know, to even let me hear him speak, even if it was maybe for that one last time that I got to talk to him. You just never know. It's five weeks shy of the one year anniversary that changed their lives forever. I traveled to meet Joe Garcia, who's nearing his seventh surgery and will need therapy for the rest of his life. The former apartment maintenance worker struggles just across the street. There he is. This guy's, as we say, lucky to be alive. Good to see you, Jim. I, I'm so sorry to hear about what happened. This is, must be a surreal moment for you. I mean, just to, to be here and know that you're gonna meet the woman that really saved your life. Yeah. How are you feeling right now? I mean. I feel good, I feel all right. Thank, thank God she was there to help me out because I don't know where something else would have happened or something. Joe's never met Juanita. Janet's never met. Juanita, and certainly I have never met Juanita, but I'm looking forward to it. This is all part of the Cash for Kindness surprise. We have no idea how she's going to react, but I have a feeling that this is going to be a special moment for everybody. Are you ready at home? Are you guys ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. Hello there. Ryan Wolf from Fox SA. Do you have any idea why we're here? Uh, the whole incident that happened with... It's got my yeah. so oh. Look, this is the first time you're meeting the man who you saved his life. Yeah. I, uh, How are I, you feeling right now seeing him? I'm happy. I called my friend that was there with me and I told her everything that his wife told me, his recovery. Thank you. I, I think that you should know what you mean to this family. And I'm going to let Janet start first. Janet, go ahead. I just want to tell you, you know, you're like our family now. Because of you, we have him. You know, because you stopped to help. Juanita Cruz is just 24. She works in pediatrics and is close to getting her associate's degree. Her motivation to pull over and assist despite lacking critical care training. My loved one passed away on the street right in front of me and I couldn't let that happen to him. I looked up on my knees and I asked for help because I couldn't, I, I, I couldn't do it on my own and he did. They sent me help, and I'm happy he's here. We have a program on Fox SA called Cash for Kindness. Have you ever seen it? Did you ever think you'd be a recipient? This is your reward. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 dollars. But wait, there's more. Do you see that camera person right there? Missy isn't really part of the camera crew. She's part of Veteran Air, our sponsor for the program. Do you recognize the company? Missy, come on over. Hi, Juanita. At Veteran Air, we are so thrilled to be a part of this program, Cash for Kindness, because we get to meet people like you. Someone that stopped and helped a complete stranger. And you just represent all the wonderful things in San Antonio. So we want to add to your day and we want to add to your money. You've got 600, 7, 8, 9, 1,000. How do you feel right now? I can give it to my mom. Your mom could use it? What is it about your mom? She needs groceries for my siblings. Thank <laughs> you.